What is going on? Darth Sticks here, and today we are going to do the week 108 update of our account. Uh, we are trying to take Mon Mothma up to gear 12, but it looks like we do not have quite enough pieces to do that. We did work pretty hard this week on getting her up a couple levels, getting the Kairos and everything that we needed. Uh, so just lacking a, a piece of gear there, and we will continue working on that. Uh, looking through here, buying everything out of the shop real fast. Um, so yeah, gear 12 next week. Uh, and then week after that, hopefully, uh, we can take her to Relic. Might might try to do it in one week, so we will just see. Uh, but she is our last character that needs to go to Relic uh, for Jedi Master Luke. Uh, and then we'll work on Profundity. We've got Inquisitors also working on them. Uh, we've got all the shards for them, so we're going to start. Uh, we've been slowly working on getting them up. Uh, but we're going to continue. That's where our Cairo techs are going to be focused for a little while uh, as we work on that. Uh, just going through some of these shops, looking through, seeing what we can get. Uh, it's interesting to look at the difference between, like, on our new free-to-play account, uh, what I'm buying versus, you know, this account that's a little over two years old at this point. Uh, kind of just the differences of where we are in the account. Uh, this next week, we'll have uh, Conquest. Uh, coming up, probably by the time this video is out, we will have Conquest going. Uh, we are going to um, look and get some of this gear uh, that we need for uh, the Carbonite circuit boards and everything else. Bronze and wiring as well uh, that we're going to need um, for... I'm, I'm going to take... Mm, I think I'm going to take Old Ben up this week. Uh, I was hoping that we could get a little bit more material here and that we could bring up a few others, but I don't think that's gonna be possible this week. Uh, so we will go ahead and do this. And then we will, um, next week we'll plan on doing some more. Uh, so those characters, a lot of them just need to go three to five. And so we've gotta get uh, enough carbonite and bronzium wirings that we can do that. Uh, so we'll continue uh, working on that. I think if we get, that should be good, of the 81. Uh, so that would be enough to get an old bin three to five. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, we are, uh, this week we did not farm as much as we should have in several areas. So that is why uh, we were a little lower than I would have liked to have been. Um, did not go as hard on fleet. Did not go as hard in some of our other areas uh, that we have in the past. Thought I was sitting pretty good, but obviously uh, looking back at this, we, we did not get as far as we needed to. Uh, we will continue to work on that though uh, for this coming week. Uh, I'd like to get Mon Mothma um, uh, all the way to five, and then we can just be done with her. We've got a Rebel Fighter Kron we could use. I think it's still viable now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if it is. I have to look at that and see because uh, Krons will uh, dust. And I can't remember which set we have a Rebel Fighter Kron for. If it was the last one or the two ago that's going to dust. So um, we will. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. We made good progress. And I think old Ben, we get him three to five, and then he'll be done. Uh, we are using him right now with Starkiller. There's a lot of times where we're using him in GAC and other game modes. He's working out pretty well. I know some people are using him with Leia, uh, Galactic Legend Leia, so we can do that as well. Uh, you know, he's a good tank, uh, it works out pretty well. He's required at Relic 5 anyways, so I mean, not a bad deal there. Uh, we did get him upgraded three to, uh, to Relic 3 via one of the Lightspeed bundles. Uh, so right now we spent a uh, total on this account at the time of filming was about $90 what we spent on the account. I, I shouldn't say about, it was $90. I mean, it's slightly under that because obviously all the packs are, you know, $9.99 or whatever. But uh, we're not gonna apply any Omicrons uh, to him, but we will apply these Omegas. Um, except, and we don't need his leadership because he's always just under another team. So yeah, I think that's good progress. Uh, here, Keller and Beck, we have been farming him very slowly, uh, just doing normal refreshes on him. Uh, once a day, doing five and getting him there. Captain Rex, hopefully uh, we can finish him off this week is the hope. Uh, so that will be one of our slow farms done. 
and we can move on to something else to get shards. I like to always have uh, at least four or five that right now, since we're in mid game, uh, four or five things that we're farming all the time. And right now I have been focusing a lot on slower farms um, just because we do have that luxury right now. Um, as uh, Jedi Cal Kestis, as his requirements start going accelerated, we may start focusing on some of those. Finish them off. Parfles is pretty close thanks to some added drops. And then we were farming the Vandor Chewy Ned. So that'll go accelerated at some point. And I think that'll be a pretty solid one to pick up. Uh, and yeah, so just putting. Just equipping these so we can start continuing working on our Inquisitors. Uh, as we're going, obviously we need to add mods, we need to do a lot of work on the Inquisitors. Um, and we've only got one to gear 12, so that'll probably be the first one we take to Relic. Uh, we're going to take them to Relic 5 to start with, um, since that will be required. And then we'll kind of sit there and see which ones we want to take to 7. Um, because it is going to be interesting which ones we should take up and which ones we shouldn't um, to kind of see that. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, we're still working on Rey. Um, still need to work on her ultimate. Obviously, we're all the way up on tickets, so we do need to uh, do that event again. Uh, I've just been going super slow on her. Um, it's not the most fun event, and that's probably why I haven't really cared. So you can see we're pretty close on Jedi Master Luke. Just need to get some relics uh, on some characters and we should be good to go there. And we can jump in, uh, staying top 20 in fleet most of the time. And then squad, we did drop out of the top 200, but uh, I'm not super worried about staying top 200, honestly, uh, because it doesn't really matter right now with our squad arena income. Um, if we can get back up there, that'd be great, but we're not focusing on it right now. Uh, Darth Bane, you can see we're pretty good progress there. Uh, we're going to keep farming him. Uh, and hopefully we can get some good uh, progress on him. As Conquest keeps going, we're going to try to jump up to, uh, another crate or two. Uh, we are going to buy the Conquest Pass again. Uh, this time it is going to have Ben Solo in there. So that will be really good um, to get extra shards of him as we're going along. Uh, which should put us pretty close. Uh, we're, I think we're over halfway, that's what I want to look at, um, and I think we can uh, keep working on him, um, and yeah, Sira here, we're just going to promote a few characters, um, as we're sitting here, we're just kind of looking at these, seeing where we're at, as far as shards, uh, on a lot of these characters. Um, BT1 is probably one we're going to continue to work on. Like to get him up once we get uh, trip zero. Maybe after we finish uh, Captain Rex, we'll go ahead and get the trip, trip zero or the farming, and then we'll work on BT1 after that. And yeah, we are you know, just getting a few of these characters that we kind of have a lot of shards for. If there's overflow, we can get some shard shop currency for it. And honestly, some of these just seem kind of where we're at as far as shards go. moving right along uh, I think JML I, I, I want to have him mainly for conquest um, I'm excited about that him kind of done. Uh, we've got a good solid squad to already go with him um, since we've got quite a few Jedi already built out and I think that'll be good um, help us in conquest get through the beats a little faster um, so looking at that data mine, I'm pretty happy with uh, the changes. I'm not happy about necessarily the discs changing as far as what's available to us, but we can survive with what they give us. Uh, just change how we uh, do the battles and everything, making it a little grindier, which is, a, is never a good thing as far as I'm concerned with Conquest. It's already pretty grindy, um, but if we can get pretty close, um, if I can get to the fifth crate is our goal this time and maybe get see how we do um, but we're going to push for that uh, comeuppance we are going to go ahead and upgrade it uh, since we've got the uh, resources to do so we'll go ahead and jump in there and uh, get 
these at least partially upgraded. It's just reinforcement right now. And, uh, I mean, eventually we'll put more resources into it. Uh, once we get Zori and that kind of stuff up and running. Go ahead and I think for right now, though, that's pretty, pretty decent uh, just to get her ship up and running. And that'll be a good spot to get us. Uh, we are using it in Territory Wars on defense a lot of times um, as one of our fleets that they're requiring so I'm not too worried about spending a little bit and we are putting it on for our uh, second ship for uh, GAC so I think it'll be good and solid there and just looking at this I do need to upgrade it the rest of the way but honestly for right now as we're still farming it we'll just kind of hold on that uh, but yeah, pretty good progress. Got some good ships going. Got some characters upgraded. Uh, we'll continue working, obviously. It, it is a grind. Uh, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, even with spending a little bit of cash here and there, uh, we still are at a... Uh, I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now on the account. Um, I think the $10 for Conquest, uh, we'll see if we continue that. I think it is a pretty good spend right now, all the extra resources and everything, especially now that we're getting extra shards for like some of those uh, that are in um, proving grounds. Uh, I think that'll be helpful for us going forward. We want to get Queen Amidala pretty quick, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.